So at this point, it's pretty clear what everyone thinks of my style. Creative, unique, and weird. But what about Bianca's style? Elegant clothes, designer accessories, and talk about a shoe collection. And Betsy, I think I get why Bianca has such a short temper. How could anyone be in a good mood walking around wearing these things all day? <gasps> Maggie! Get your stinky feet out of my shoes before you ruin them! My feet aren't stinky, all right? Well, whoever wears those has majorly stinky feet, so don't let me catch you touching my stuff again. Not a problem. It's pretty obvious you're jealous of my closet. Yeah, right. I think my closet is way better. Um, maybe it needs a bit of tidying up. Miss Tucker, I couldn't find the belt that goes with these shorts. That truly would have been a crime. <laughs> Me and Maggie, worlds apart. A real stylist is able to design clothes that are not necessarily their own personal style. It is an attribute that all professional stylists need to know. And that is the reason why your next assignment will be to design an outfit that is not for you, but for your roommate. Something they themselves would wear. Say what? what? Your roommate will be your inspiration, and your sketch must reflect their style. And once you get their approval on the outfit you're designing for them, you will sketch it, and that is what I will be grading you on. My roommate has no style, so I don't think I can do the assignment. You're wrong. Maggie is extremely stylish. You've got to put yourself in her shoes, that's all. Think like she does. Now that's something I just can't do. The thought of thinking like Bianca makes me nauseous. Okay. One more word out with the two of you, and this assignment will last a week instead of a few measly hours. Ah, one last thing. Until your sketch gets the seal of approval from your roommate, you will be wearing her clothes in order to get all the inspiration you need. Pilar! Mi amor! I told you it would be worth it in the end. I know it was a very long journey through the closet, but now you're finally here. And I know that you wanted to buy that pretty little white blouse, but Ante has to work, and that well, means... Well, go back to work then. Now you listen to me. Just sit there and don't move a muscle. And don't touch anything, because Bianca can be very protective of her things, hush now. What on earth did you do? Bianca's going to fire me. Maybe she'll do worse. She might even want to kill me after this. Oh, why? Why? Why, Pilar? Oh, Pilar. Ever heard the story of the prince and the pauper? You saying I'm the pauper? I'm just saying, it's great being you, bro. Wish I could say the same, Master Cool. What do you think, guys? Kinda suits me, right? Just forget it. And how's Nausicaa feeling in your wardrobe? Oh, just peachy. <laughs> what are all you idiots gawking at? <laughs> wait, Can someone wait. please help me? Oh. I've never seen that blanket on Maggie. If my followers see me dressed like this, they'll abandon me for life. Come on, it can't be that bad. <laughs> Thank you. 19 followers lost. Great, I just lost 19 followers. Uh, 20. What did I ever do to deserve this? It's not fair. And now you, you're ruining my beautiful Goldie shoes. These shoes are like torture. What a great choice. My grandmother got me that to wear to the corn festival. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna throw up. Come on, Bianca, it's not that bad. You'd make a great scarecrow. <laughs> I mean, you're cute. Uh, okay, this is almost over. Okay, that's it. Let's just go draw our sketches. Come on, wait. You go before before I kill myself in these things. I'll be there in a couple of hours. <laughs> Easy does it. Okay, I got it now. Go! Oh, good. Go. <laughs> Hey, Leo, I got your message. What's up? 
What's this all about? Gotta have abs if I'm gonna wear Edward's clothes, right? Pretty awesome, huh? Yeah, sure. Uh, here. It's a copy of the card I left in Bianca's locker. She's got mail. Got something for me? Not sure you should let Bianca see you dressed like that. You sure Bianca's gonna like what you wrote? Yeah. Slimy Greaseball, what does he think he's dealing with here? Another love letter from Leo? You're so gorgeous, sweet corn girl, I could stalk you forever, Mr. Love. Another love letter from your secret admirer? Yeah, he's cute, even if his writing's, um, a bit weird. Seems pretty lame and corny. <gasps> Maybe because you have no clue how to flatter a girl. Leo's a sweetheart, always. And how do you know Leo wrote that? Someone say my name. Swipe away, kids, it's on me. How was that? <laughs> and how do you know Leo's Mr. Love? I found out. And you're bummed about that? No. Leo's beginning to grow on me, slowly but surely. Now, if you'll just excuse me, I need the approval for this sketch. My feet can't stand being in these poor man's shoes. Ma Where the heck is Maggie? Over here! The heel broke off! Poor sweet thing, come to mama! Psst. Hey! Hey! Edward! 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 Name's Leo. At least until I can get the approval for the sketch. Emergency! Alarm bells! Danger! Incoming! I'm always amused at how easily you get the crap scared out of you. There's an alien at the Milky Way! Oh, Mama! No, no! Friends, 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 no Rada! But you didn't let me finish my story! He's an alien! I know it! How can you be so sure? Just look at him. He's got two eyes, two ears, and one nose! Unbelievable! But why has he traveled here? To planet Earth? And the Milky Way? I don't know, but it's up to us to find out. You got a mirror? <laughs> Nazika never leaves home without one. <laughs> I'll divert his attention by using the mirror to reflect light. Then I'll glare at him with an evil grin. That'll scare him off for sure. <sighs> Please convince Maggie to approve my sketch. She didn't like any of them and my followers have been dropping like flies. If you like me at all, you'll do this for me. So this is how much you like me. Why not just ask Leo? He's your knight in shining armor, isn't he? Hey, I'm getting better. Only seven minutes to get from class to here. And I barely even broke a sweat. I feel like crying. Sit down before you hurt yourself. You need a break. Are you serious? You can actually see me? I'm not invisible anymore? Not since you started wearing normal clothes. That might be the rudest thing anyone's ever said to me. Just because I'm wearing clothes other girls you used to date are wearing, now you can see me? You know what? You're the one who's invisible now. How's that? One, two, three, Don't four, say a word. Five, six. Oh no, this is so not cozy. I have to get her out of my shoes. <laughs> Being Leo isn't that bad. I can afford to buy the best alien detecting antenna on the market. <laughs> uh. <sighs> that was the best one on the market? Forget it. I think I could still return it. There he is. And he's armed with a dangerous looking briefcase. <gasps> Alarm bells, danger, incoming. What do we do? He's opening it. We should run. I wonder what else he's got in there. Unbelievable. I bet he's probably trying to communicate with his fellow beings that we have to stop him before they take over the world! Hey, wait a minute. It's amazing how many new words I can think of without Franz in my head. You always said you work best when your brain is turned off. <laughs> <gasps> the aliens are coming! Yeah, hello? What is the matter with you? Just say you like it and we're free. Our feet will be happy too. I'm not approving that. That sketch is awful. I would never wear anything like that. Hey, I see that you're still dressed normally. <gasps> oh, excuse me. I didn't see you. 
All right, listen up, because weird little Maggie is losing it and might let her Bianca side come out impatient, unapologetic, and dangerous. Being a frosty ice queen has its perks. I'll never be able to think like Weirdy does. Dip your hand in here and lick your fingers. Trust me, it'll help. Are you sure about this? You bet. Well, only because I'm desperate. I know, and I want to help you. Just try it. You're worse than an ugly set of crocs that have been discounted. Is that why you're in love with Leo? Exactly. You're even more handsome with those muscles. Our fans want a picture of the new couple. Yeah, sure. I knew it was just a matter of time before you fell for me. Darling. Ah. Listen up, slime ball. I may look like the cruel and beautiful Bianca, but today I'm also part Maggie, so watch out because I might stab you in the foot with my scissors. So does this mean we're not a couple? Not on your life, Gozy. Ah. Being weird oh. isn't that bad. It can be very useful. Yuki, do you read me? Over. Roger, Edward. I read you loud and clear. All right, prepare for mission. Follow the alien and any others he's contacted. Over. But why does the mission name have to be so long? Look, I was focused on technology and getting the best walkie-talkies possible, all right? Over. What? What's going on? Huh? You know, maybe it's not that easy being Leo. It all feels kind of cheap and a bit of a rip-off. What's that alien eating? I have no idea. Maybe it's something he brought from his own planet. Or maybe... Or maybe what? Or maybe it's some kind of pill that activates his alien powers. Uh, I think you're right. He just made himself invisible. I am so afraid. Ah! If you've interrupted my studying just so you can apologize... Yow! Wow! Never gets old for you, does it, Max? It's just the kind of entrance I like to make. Yeah, the rock star, yeah, I know. Maybe it'd be best if I, um, make a rock star exit about now. Yeah, I'll just, uh, I'll see you later. Just, uh, you know, pretend I'm not here. <laughs> yeah. All right, start talking. Look, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. Making me dip my fingers in chocolate? I can't believe you. No, that's actually not even why I'm sorry. You all along? So now that everything's calmed down here, uh, what can I get you? Mm -mm. Well, maybe you don't want anything right now. You know what? I'll just be over here if you need me. I'll... Go on. Yes, I'm the one. Leo paid me to write all those nice things. You are the worst. Not only were you making fun of me, you were charging for it. I'm really sorry. I wanted to tell you so bad. So hurt and betrayed. Since you messed things up with me and Bianca, I want my money back. Well, Black Hole, I always said that these fashion people are weird. Really weird. to lose a month's salary than my life. My angel. Brand spanking new. You're the best auntie in the world. That was my favorite top. Hold on, hold on. But you're telling me that top was yours all along and you just said it was Bianca, so I'd get you a new one? Get out of my sight! Go on now! Very quickly before Bianca gets back. Everyone finished the assignment but us. I can't believe everyone's finished and we're still here. But you have to admit, you kind of like being me. What are you talking about? It's not my fault that you keep refusing all my sketches. I think it must be because you like being me, right? You're the one who's refusing my sketches. What do you think about this one? Let me see. It's perfection! It's horrible. Rejected. All right, I give up. We're gonna have to wear these clothes forever. Queen of the Corn Festival. Help! Help! Edward? 
Richard? There's no one here. Uh, Yuki, we gotta be patient. I'm sure he's gonna come in here and then it'll be up to us to save the world. So exciting! We're going to end up in all the history books. Maybe they'll name a few countries after us as a show of thanks. <laughs> wow, I can already see it. Yuki land. Or no, no, the United States of Yuki. <laughs> I think he's coming. Ready? We got him. Oh, God, we got to him. <laughs> Are you out of your minds? So you're the alien then? What alien? I read that silly paper and came in here to see what was going on and then, well, why am I explaining my actions to you when you should be explaining things to me? What I mean is surely you can understand my point. Uh, Headmaster, we're pretty sure there's an alien roaming around here. Oh, for the love of Job, aliens don't exist for peace sake. Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. Surely I'm sure. There can be no doubt. It's even in the school regulations, as you can clearly see. But go on now. Get your stuff and get out of Boy, here. Boy, do I feel better now. <laughs> <laughs> Hurry and get back to your planets. I, I, I mean your classes. Go yes, on. Yes, sir. Oh. I've heard that good ideas are sometimes born out of desperation. And I am really desperate. Awesome idea. Maggie, give up. You should be thinking like me and I've pretty much given up. I'm actually not you right now. Well, I mean I am, but maybe only halfway. I hate it when you start talking weird. I actually really like that one. It even makes me want to say gozy. How'd you do it? Same way you managed to say the word gozy. Just got into your head. Lost follower, we have different styles and we're completely different, but we rock together. If I add a bit of you and you add a bit of me, well... Whoa, you're getting all weird again. Just let me explain. In order for me to like your style, I have to add a bit of mine. So I just blend our styles together and voila! Problem solved! Incredible. You're actually really talented. On the rare occasion. So? Sketch approved then? Sure. Especially because that one is perfect for both of us. That's great! I'm just gonna take these clothes off now. Are you all right? Are you hurt? No, don't worry, I'm fine. I was talking to my shoes, Goldies. You all did a great job on the assignment. And now you all know your roommate's style a little better. And you've all created some truly wonderful outfits. But turn your attention to the runway where the best one can be seen. Maggie and Bianca, come on out. Very good, Great well done. I like the movement of the story. Yes. Excellent job. We may come from different worlds, but it's great when we come together. Diversity rocks. That outfit is beautiful, but I still prefer you as Queen of the Corn Festival. I'm not talking to you, remember? I may have lied, but not about everything. I really do believe you're beautiful. Please forgive me, Quinn. How can a lying lowlife be so charming? Very confused. So I'm taking your shift at the bar today. Gozy! That's totally awesome! You know what? I like you a lot better when you're dressed all weird. You don't need to change. <laughs> Guys, don't worry! We can all relax! They do not exist! It even says so in the school regulations! Actually, there he is. Maybe we're the only ones who can see him. That's even scarier! Alarm bells! Danger! Save me! <laughs> Would you shut up? Why don't you just calm down and take a few deep breaths? Why have I been put on the same planet as these people? They're talking about that guy. In the back there. Hey, Max can see him too. I wish I didn't, but yeah, I can see him. He's the executive director for a chain of cafes. He wants to buy the Milky Way. You're not gonna sell it, are you? I really don't have much choice. The bar has just racked up way too many debts, and the owner wants to sell it to him. Say what? I liked him better when he was an alien. <laughs> so guys, 
The Milky Way is closing. Do you remember our last concert? Hmm? Sure, of course I do. I didn't think you really cared. Maggie, I always time my moods perfectly. And tonight, it's time to be sad. <laughs> remember this one? <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that one. <laughs> <laughs> saying goodbye to the Milky Way will mean saying goodbye to a lot of things. Too many. 